Hello, sports fans. Welcome to the Oklahoma Sports Report OU Football Edition. I'm Rick Heath. With me, Al Eschbach. And we are at a great place here in Norman, Cohiba Lounge next door and adjacent to Royal Pipes here on Jenkins and Boyd. Great place. Been here for a long time. Well, you can get a wonderful Oliva cigar, and we'll talk more about the specials they have there later on. Al, OU comes back from Lincoln, Nebraska with a well-deserved win. Absolutely. Uh, Vegas uh, won a lot of money because uh, the money went on, Ve- on Nebraska last week. Uh, well, you know, I, I, most people that knew Nebraska thought they would be better than they were. Well, and the fact that all the games they've lost have been close. Yes. Uh, but, and then that, oh, they're going to rally around Mickey Joseph, this and that, and... Once OU hit them, punched them, the first punch, first punch knocked them out. Well, you know, when, when I think when, uh, when Dylan Gabriel goes 64 yards, you know, basically, and nobody really touched him all that much, uh, I think that took a lot of wind out of their sails. But OU, let's give them credit. They played, they played well. well. They played very well. That's a, give OU a lot of credit. That's exactly right. That score could have been a lot bigger. Uh, Brent Venables called, called all his people off, uh, let everybody play in the game. So uh, uh, they, they played well. And, and going into Big 12 play, I think there's a lot of reasons for optimism. Well, there's a lot of reason for optimism on, you know, there was question marks on both sides of the ball for OU. Will the defense, you know, after losing a lot of players to the NFL, new scheme, all of that, how would they respond? So far, really good. Uh, On offense, with a a new quarterback, new offensive coordinator, how would the old line play? How would the running backs do? All of that. And so far, all of those check marks have been checked off for OU's offense and defense. Yeah, they feel they got to feel pretty good going into the uh, Kansas State game. And Kansas State has had success here. And Most they recently. should because they just lost it to Lane. So you better be able to put this team away. Well, you, you, you got to be up for this game. And- I have, I have, I have, uh, I'll remind you of something though when we come back. Hey, we are at Cohiba Lounge and Royal Pipes here in Norman, where there will be having a birthday celebration for one of your favorite OU players. Joe Washington will be having a birthday celebration next Friday, the 23rd of September. Uh, it smoked through a keyhole. Birthday celebration at 7 p.m. here at Cohiba Lounge. So you got to be here and be a part of a wonderful birthday celebration for Joe Washington. We'll be right back after this. Oh, man, dude, I really wish I could make that. Um, it's National No Pants Day, and that'd be kind of inappropriate. We actually just had gas station sushi, and you just don't want to chance that. We're going to be running tornado drills, like tornado drills all day. I have tickets to see Kenny Rogers. He's what? Tornado drill, tornado drill. Your friends are tired of coming up with excuses. Two Fellows Moving Company, saving friendships since 1996. Okay, sports fans. You know, we do the Thunder Weekly each week, but there's a lot of things I like to support that are Oklahoma products. I like to go around and do shows from Oklahoma businesses, but one of the businesses I want to talk about is Prairie Wolf Distillery, now Wander Folk Spirits. Wander Folk Spirits distilled out of Guthrie, Oklahoma. Great line of spirits. They have Wander Folk Gin, Wander Folk uh, Vodka, and Old Moses uh, Bourbon. All of these are quality products, uh, and they're distilled right here in Oklahoma. So if you come to like Cohiba Lounge, ask for a Wander Folk uh, Gin and Tonic or ask for a Wander Folk Vodka and Tonic or a Club Special. It's getting where you can get that now. It's getting warmer. Uh, a Vodka Club Special made with Wander Folk Vodka. Great selection. And you're supporting Oklahoma businesses. So support Oklahoma business. Ask your favorite restaurant or bar to carry Wander Folk Spirit. The painting professionals at Ray the Painter are committed to providing all of our customers excellent service and attention to detail. Since we started in 1991, Ray the Painter serves the entire OKC metro area. We do interiors, exteriors, residential, and commercial work. The experts at Ray the Painter offer custom finishes and glazes for cabinetry and woodwork, as well as spray, brush, roller, and trowel techniques to get the perfect look for your project. For a free estimate, call 405 605 3563 or visit us at paintokc.com. 
EDS Paintless Dent Repair is your one-stop shop for auto body repair. Whether it be from hail damage, dents, scratches, or even glass replacement and repair, we can accommodate all your needs. Locally owned and operated since 2005, EDS Paintless Dent Repair is here for you. Give us a call at 405-476-1763 or go to edspaintlessdentrepair.com. At Laser Light Skin Clinic, our most popular treatment is now more affordable than ever. Right now, you can save up to 50% on Cool Sculpting, the number one choice for non invasive fat reduction. Our flexible treatment plans allow you to choose the option that is perfect for you. Focus on a single problem area or revive your life with a fresh new you. These are real results. For your personal Cool Sculpting consultation, call Laser Light Skin Clinic today. A new you awaits. And welcome back, Oklahoma Sports Report. Rick Heath Outlash back from Cohiba Lounge here uh, in Norman on Jenkins, where you can get a wonderful beverage, a great cigar, and watch your favorite sporting event. And this Saturday, they will be having an Oliva cigar event Friday and Saturday. So come by and get specials on Oliva cigars uh, from 3 to 6 p.m. Uh, on Friday and from 10 to 6 p.m on Saturday. Al, let's talk a little bit about, uh, I, I just mentioned about Kansas State got beat by Tulane, okay? Which does, it's, it doesn't bode well for Kansas State. But two years ago, Kansas State got beat by Arkansas State, came here and beat OU. Got to be ready to play. It, it's, it's, it's that simple. You hope this coaching staff did a bad job then, the, the coaching staff Thank of, you. of, of uh, Thank two you years very ago. Much. New coaching staff, old coaching staff somehow managed to lose a game they shouldn't have. Right. Two of them were to Kansas oh, State yeah. here, oh, um, but with this new coaching staff, I don't think they'll have that same slip up. I don't think so either. I, 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 and, and being the conference opener, uh, you, you got to be focused. Uh, you, you're playing a lot of new guys and everything, so you would hope that. Uh, and it's not a look-to game because you got TCU the week after. So you, you, you just get the guys focused. You just try to keep on getting better. That's what the ob ob object well, you know, is right and that, now. And that's the thing about it is there, there's so much to learn for this, this team and the coaching staff and the players. Um, you know, they're just now learning the offensive schemes. They're just now learning the blocking schemes. They're just now learning the routes, uh, how, how to run the routes on the adjustments. On defense, they're just learning how to be cohesive, how to hit hard, how to tackle well. So it's all beginning right now, and it's in the perfect timing for Kansas State coming in. Yeah, I, I think it, the Big 12 season, it, it, it's, it's nice. You got K-State at home, and then you got a, a TCU game team that's not very good before you play Texas. And Kansas State, the strength of their team is their defense. Right. They're and not that'll be a big test coming in this Saturday for OU against Kansas State's defense. So let's talk about OU's offense for a minute. And it all starts with Dylan Gabriel. Your thoughts on Dylan Gabriel up to this point? Well, I mean, Barry Tremble gave him a C for the Nebraska game. I think that's that's probably a fair game. That he, He's done a lot of good things. No interceptions and not make safe. But you got to hit wide open receivers. Well, you know, and that's the thing about it is, um, you know, he, 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 missed, he missed throws that you would assume an accurate – quarterback like he would hit and that's what we heard from the coaches accuracy accuracy actually so maybe these first couple of games are just uh, you know not what we're gonna see so uh but I, I think in the future that's what i think that ass can be accurate and, and see and that's where that's where these receivers are good and they're getting open and they're getting open and and and, and you know the receivers are showing the ability to get as you said get open and catch the ball when they are open, which is, you know, that seems like a very simple project, but it is only when they do it. I mean, you know, because it's so, you say, well, they should catch it when they're open. They don't, not in college football, it doesn't always happen. Well, and Marvin Mims is one of the biggest weapons in, in college football. He's, as far as receiver, he's really, really good. Farouk has showed that he can get open, and Drake Stoops is a great possession 
you know, receiver. Weiss, I, Willis was, is was, a really was good nice target. Weiss makes some good catches. Theo Weiss, exactly right. You know, because he, you know, he, for as highly recruited and, and as talented as he was coming in, he, but for whatever reason, it hasn't lived up well, to Well, injuries. That. Injuries for the most part. Um, but uh, it was nice to see him. So the receivers and the quarterback are getting on the same page. Um, the quarterback needs to be a little bit more accurate. But to me, the key to this offense is still the offensive line. Well, they played really well. So you got Wanya Morris. It makes a whole difference now in that offensive line. They're going to be really good in the offensive line, I think. Well, and, uh, and we will be able to tell this Saturday. No doubt. Because Kansas State, as we said previous, that their strength is their defense. That's exactly right. But getting Morris back, keeping Harrison at, at left tackle, putting Morris over at right tackle is going to help them a bunch. So... Uh, it, the offensive line should be one of the strengths of this You know team. what, in this, in this game, it would be nice if they could get 200-plus yards rushing against yeah, Kansas Yeah, no doubt, no doubt about it would be. Because yeah. that would show some dominance that the offensive line yeah. needs to get confidence but going to, into the big To me, play. it's going to be Gabriel's accuracy. That, and that's how this season is going to go is uh, Gabriel's accuracy. Yeah, because, it sure will be a lot nicer on his accuracy if he can run the ball when they, when they, if they can run it when they it want It'd help to. him, but he got guys wide open. he got to hit him. He's got to hit him, and that's one of the keys to the game this Saturday. We'll talk more about that when we get back. But, hey, we are at Cohiba Lounge where this Friday, September 23rd, Smoke Through a Keyhole Cigars will be celebrating Joe Washington's birthday september 23rd at 7 p.m here at cohiba lounge you got to come and celebrate it there'll be all types of of ou greats here celebrating with joe washington smoke through a keyhole and also oliva cigars the oliva cigars will have a, a big event uh friday and saturday this, this saturday especially uh before the game the kansas state game so be here on friday and saturday and you too can enjoy a big Oliva cigar and your favorite beverage. We'll be right back after this. Oh man, dude, I really wish I could make that. Um, it's National No Pants Day, and that'd be kind of inappropriate. We actually just had gas station sushi, and you just don't want to chance that. We're gonna be running tornado drills, like tornado drills all day. I have tickets to see Kenny Rogers. He's what? Tornado drill, tornado drill. Your friends are tired of coming up with excuses. Two Fellows Moving Company, saving friendships since 1996. The painting professionals at Ray the Painter are committed to providing all of our customers excellent service and attention to detail. Since we started in 1991, Ray the Painter serves the entire OKC metro area. We do interiors, exteriors, residential, and commercial work. The experts at Ray the Painter offer custom finishes and glazes for cabinetry and woodwork, as well as spray, brush, roller, and trowel techniques to get the perfect look for your project. For a free estimate, call 405-605-3563 or visit us at paintokc.com. At Laser Light Skin Clinic, our most popular treatment is now more affordable than ever. Right now, you can save up to 50% on Cool Sculpting, the number one choice for non invasive fat reduction. Our flexible treatment plans allow you to choose the option that is perfect for you. Focus on a single problem area or revive your life with a fresh new you. These are real results. For your personal Cool Sculpting consultation, call Laser Light Skin Clinic today. A new you awaits. Oh man, dude, I really wish I could make that. Um, it's National No Pants Day, and that'd be kind of inappropriate. We actually just had gas station sushi, and you just don't want to chance that. We're gonna be running tornado drills, like tornado drills all day. I have tickets to see Kenny Rogers. He's what? Tornado drill, tornado drill. Your friends are tired of coming up with excuses. Two Fellows Moving Company, saving friendships since 1996. The painting professionals at Ray the Painter are committed to providing all of our customers excellent service and attention to detail. Since we started in 1991, Ray the Painter serves the entire OKC metro area. We do interiors, exteriors, residential, and commercial work. The experts at Ray the Painter offer custom finishes and glazes for cabinetry and woodwork, as well as spray, brush, roller, and trowel techniques to get the perfect look for your project. For a free estimate, call 405-605-3563 or visit us at paintokc.com. At Laser Light Skin Clinic, our most popular treatment is now more affordable than ever. 
Right now, you can save up to 50% on Cool Sculpting, the number one choice for non invasive fat reduction. Our flexible treatment plans allow you to choose the option that is perfect for you. Focus on a single problem area or revive your life with a fresh new you. These are real results. For your personal Cool Sculpting consultation, call Laser Light Skin Clinic today. A new you awaits. Oh man, dude, I really wish I could make that. Um, it's National No Pants Day, and that'd be kind of inappropriate. We actually just had gas station sushi, and you just don't want to chance that. We're going to be running tornado drills, like tornado drills all day. I have tickets to see Kenny Rogers. He's what? Tornado drill, tornado drill. Your friends are tired of coming up with excuses. Two Fellows Moving Company, saving friendships since 1996. EDS Paintless Dent Repair is your one-stop shop for auto body repair. Whether it be from hail damage, dents, scratches, or even glass replacement and repair, we can accommodate all your needs. Locally owned and operated since 2005, EDS Paintless Dent Repair is here for you. Give us a call at 405-476-1763 or go to edspaintlessdentrepair.com. Okay, sports fans, you know, we do the Thunder Weekly each week, but there's a lot of things I like to support that are Oklahoma products. I like to go around and do shows from Oklahoma businesses, but one of the businesses I want to talk about is Prairie Wolf Distillery, now Wander Folk Spirits. Wander Folk Spirits distilled out of Guthrie, Oklahoma. Great line of spirits. They have Wander Folk Gin, Wander Folk uh, Vodka, and Old Moses a bourbon. All of these are quality products uh, and they're distilled right here in Oklahoma. So if you come to like Cohiba Lounge, ask for a Wander Folk uh, gin and tonic or ask for a Wander Folk vodka and tonic or a club special. It's getting where you can get that now. It's getting warmer. Uh, a vodka club special made with Wander Folk vodka. Great selection and you're supporting Oklahoma businesses. So support Oklahoma business. Ask your favorite restaurant or bar to carry Wander Folk spirits. And welcome back. Oklahoma Sports Report. Rick Heath Outlet's back from Cohiba Lounge here in Norman where there is a great, great event, an Oliva event coming this Friday and Saturday. And Friday night, uh, birthday celebration for Joe Washington. Um, and we're talking, you know, Kansas State has had success here in Norman, winning two out of the last three. You know, they have the best record in Norman of any Big 12 school. That's insane, isn't it? Isn't it? I mean, it they is. have the best record in the Big 12. And They're these are five. Bill Snyder teams they're bringing into town. Yeah, um, you know, and Snyder didn't win as many. I mean, Cly uh, uh, the Cl Clymer. Kleiman has won two out of the last three here, which is... Unusual. And again, he wasn't going against Bob Stoops. Yeah, he, he wasn't. He wasn't. So it'll, it'll be a good test for him. Uh, speaking of a good test, OU's defense had a really good test that they passed well at Nebraska because the one thing that we knew about Nebraska, their offense was pretty good, we right. thought. That's exactly right, yeah. And OU's defense made them look very, very average. After that first series, OU dominate. They yeah. punished them. Yes, and and so you know oh you although I went on the message board and, and first shot why is Venables doing a three three uh, uh, yeah, defense Lyman. is he an idiot is Brent Venables an idiot <laughs> they know more than Brent Venables well, uh, you know that's that's OU fans for you uh, what are they doing they just yeah. went right down the field yeah. scoring on them they yeah. can't do that, that three three you know it's uh, it, that <laughs> defense what kind sucks. of deal is that yeah, yeah. And so that's an OU fan for you but it, hey they ended up with really really good stats. Uh, D Danny Stutzman, uh, Billy Bowman, Reggie Grimes, those guys are playing really, really well. Deshaun White, before he got kicked out of the game, was playing really well. <laughs> yes. yes. You know, and the thing about it is, OU leads the nation in tackles for loss. They're, they're, they're swarming, man. They're there. And they, they, they have, they're tenth in the nation in scoring defense. And they lead the nation in tackles for loss and tackle uh, yardage for loss, 162 yards for losses. Well, another kid, we saw the freshman, Kanek, come in. Yeah, Kanek came in. He, when, just, when White got thrown out, yeah. he came in and took his place, and he's going to be a star. He's a heat-seeking missile. Yes. <laughs> he was just running, trying to find somebody great, to hit. Great athlete. Yes. 
and fast and ready to go play. You know, and just like any new, raw, you know, first-year guy, I mean, he's going to make mistakes. Yep. But he's also going to make up for them by his hustle, his desire, and his instincts, and his yeah. talent. They are so much better defense than they were a year ago. And it, it's it's coaching. It's just their technique is better. They're not getting beat. They've been beaten long once all year long. Yeah, yeah you know, uh, here, to me, here, here it is. The defense is more focused. They're more intense. They tackle better. And they are all hallmarks of Brent Venable's defense. Absolutely. And we're already seeing it. Absolutely they are. Yeah. You know, and that's what we were kind of wondering. We thought that's what would happen. Yeah, but we, we didn't know yeah, when. We were we were pretty sure that they were going to be coached much better than the Alex Grinch coach uh, defense. And it's proven out it, so it, far. No so doubt, far. it's proven so out. So far, it's proven Absolutely. out. Absolutely. I mean, just just I mean, the eye test. You know, I mean, without even going into details or getting you know statistics or anything, just watching them made them. You know, they they played better, more you know focused, and more intense. I tell you, they got to add to Casey Thompson, man. Well, I know it, and, and Casey Thompson. Unfortunately, he was getting hit so often, he just didn't have a oh, chance to, yeah. to, to, to it, get out and do yeah. anything. It, it was unbelievable. You know, so, um, you know, now, Chris Kleiman, the coach for Kansas State, has had pretty good success with what they have done offensively against OU's defense. Now, they're, they're not very good offensively, so if, if OU gives up a lot, that's a really bad sign. Well, it, it will be, but he's had success. now. Yeah, it's, but it's, also, it's new players and everything, so I don't care. it's a whole different coaching staff. It's a whole different staff, whole new players, different coaching staff. New, so, new quarterback. So coming into this, if OU's defense continues to play that well, then we know OU's well, got it, something. It's worse if they don't play well, because Kansas State ain't any good offensively. Well, you would say that, but they, they, they haven't been up to this point. It's different players. I mean, it's different. Two I mean, years ago, they came in yeah. after getting beat by Arkansas State. Those players are gone. Yeah, and, and, and the players for Kansas State are gone, too. Yeah, that's so. what I mean. So, <laughs> so different but, players, different coaches. Yeah, you know, and so, um, you know, it, it, it's always good to, to what, what we think is going to happen. Yeah, because happens. Tulane shut them down. Yeah. Yeah, they did. They did. They didn't play very well, you know, and, and you thought Martinez would be a pretty good quarterback. You may, maybe that's the reason why Nebraska didn't play very well. No doubt about it. Two years in a row. No doubt about it. You know, it. because he hasn't shown very no. well against for, they don't, for Kansas State. No, and I, uh, I think this defense for anybody's going to be really tough for anybody to run on. Well, see, and that's the thing about it. You know, the old style of uh, defense was stop the run first, yeah, yeah. make them one dimensional. Right. Stop the run. Make them one-dimensional. Then you can have I totally and we'll, agree. And we'll see about that. Hey, we're having a great time here at Cohiba Lounge. And you can have a great time also Friday, December 23rd. You can come out here and celebrate Joe Washington's birthday with Smoke Through a Keyhole Cigars. Also on the 24th, you can have all-day Oliva Cigar Cigar event and your favorite beverage right here at Cohiba Labs. We'll be right back. And welcome back. Oklahoma Sports Report, Rick Heath Al Eshbach from Cohiba Lounge, adjacent to Royal Pipes and Tobacco here at Jenkins and Boyd. Um, Al, give me three things you would like to see OU accomplish in this first Big 12 game under Brent Venables. Number one, De- uh, G- uh, Gabriel, uh, Gillen's, uh, D- Gabriel's uh, accuracy. Dylan Gabriel got to be accurate. He got to hit these. I want to hit, see him hit 60%, 67% of the passes at 67 least. 67 is a lot different than 60 because yeah, he's yeah. about 60 now. Yeah, it's you know, 60. You got to hit 60. In these thin age of college football, you got to hit at least 67%. Yeah, yeah. You know, and, and 70 on, on good days, you know. Second so thing, one. say offensive line. I want to see them against a good defense have some push where they can run the, run, run the ball. I, I think uh, – uh, I, I, I want I want to see that. Number three, I want to see him contain Adrian Martinez, not let him get big plays running like he did last year when uh, Nebraska came in and almost beat OU. Yes. So th- those are the things I agree with because those are the accomplishments you can take into the Big 12 moving forward. Okay, because... Um, you know, after that, you play TCU, and they have a matchup against SMU we'll talk about here in a minute. Uh, and then after that, Texas. 
You know, yeah. and those are going to be bigger tests as they move into no, the season. No doubt OSU, about it. OSU, Baylor on the schedule coming up. So those are the kind of things that you need to accomplish now. Get in as part of your, your um, building blocks and build off of them. Hey, we're having a great time here at Cohiba Lounge, and you can have a great time also. Friday, December 23rd, you can come out here and celebrate Joe Washington's birthday with Smoke Through a Keyhole Cigars. Also on the 24th, you can have all-day Oliva Cigar cigar event and your favorite beverage right here at Cohiba Labs. We'll be right back.